And hello, everybody. Welcome to Season 2 of the Gander Mountain National Series. NASCAR Gander Mountain National Series, that is. Is that what we're going by now? Welcome to Daytona Preseason Thunder. As 28 cars are going to be testing on track today as our first cars rolling off. This is 29 minutes. I will get them in a second. But welcome to Season 2 of the NASCAR Gander Mountain National Series. A lot of new faces, a lot of returning faces will be in the series this year. So let's get started. First of all, let's go to Matthias Paiva, and we'll use him as our first example of the brand new, old but new at the same time, PWF GNS car. This car model was used all the way back from 2003 until 2009 in the NASCAR Na Nationwide Series, or NASCAR Bush Series, or NASCAR uh, Grand National Series, whatever what you called it, from 2003 to 2009 in the second tier series NASCAR, this is what they used. So that's what we're going to be running this season in the Gander Mountain National Series. Anyways, our first driver of the day, that is the number 29 of Matias Paiva. Matias Paiva, returning face this year, one of the few. Matias Paiva ran um, the full season last year, some with the Junior Motorsports Network for his own team of M-Pro Racing, driving the number 5 Chevrolet. Didn't do too well, let a couple laps in some places, but other than that, not very much accolades um, to name. He's going to be looking for a rebound season to run really well in that number 29, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, Chevrolet. Behind him, that is the number 62, right in front of him actually, that is the number 62, TND, um, Alfa Romeo. Yes, we have an Alfa Romeo this season in that series. In the series. That is Joseph Manesto driving the top-notch designs Alfa Romeo. He's running a lot in a lot of other series. It's his first appearance in this series. Let's see how he does this season as possibly a standout. There is number 15, he's on pit road. Uh, there's some guys coming off pit road. Let's scroll up to a driver that's actually on track. There is one. Our reigning champion, the number zero, Chevrolet, unsponsored, surprisingly. That is Henrietta Fitzwater. Last year, she had some sponsorship from Upanor. This year, she has none. Guess there's a lot of outrage for a female driver winning the championship, but she has no sponsor this season. Will she run well? Will she not? That's going to be a really tough question to answer. As she's coming off a season with no wins or poles, but extreme consistency is what won her that championship, being James Qualls, a two-time winner and a one-time pole sitter. No, never mind, he was not a pole sitter. Scratch that. But anyways, maybe looking for a second in a row. Going two for two, Henry Fitzwater. We'll see. There's the 39 coming on pit road. Let's go to another on track driver. There's the 46 of Donovan Updike, another returning face. Driving once again, the now he's moving to the 46 Chevrolet. He was in the 89 Dodge. Uh, Civil Air Patrol, the sponsor of number 46 this season. Uh, he drove pretty well, I'd say, getting picking up two wins in a pole on his on one of his on that only poles where he won. That was back in New Hampshire. He also won from the 8th position, I believe, at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We are not returning to New Hampshire, but we are returning to CTMP. He'll be driver to watch at that place, where he isn't really a great driver here at Daytona. He did drive somewhat well at Talladega, but they couldn't get around the double zero of Eddie Johnson. Maybe this is the season down up that he needs to win the championship. We'll just have to see. Also on track, there's the 83 Navy machine. We have two Navy cars this year. Junior Motorsports and Navy sponsoring number 83 of Kyle Keith. Kyle Keith hoping for a strong run this season as he stepped in for Harlan Sanders after race number three. His first race was race number four. I believe race number four was at Orlando, which we are not using this year. Um, Kyle Keith stepped in, did all right, but didn't do great or terrible. He had some top fives, I believe two or three. Didn't have a pole, though. Let's see if he, this can be a standout breakout year for the game. Kyle Keith in front of him, a rookie. Never mind, he's not a rookie. He's a returning face just in his third make in only two seasons. That is the number 25 of Eric Steinmetz, a returning face to the series. Driving number 25, Smithfield Ford. His first drive was number 44, ACY, American Custom Yachts, is what ACY stands for, Toyota. Then he switched makes middle of the year, became the number 44 Optima Batteries, Chevrolet. Now he's driving a Ford with Smithfield, and he's driving number 25. All this randomness and shakeup must be working for Eric Steinutz as he's had some random luck. I'd say a mid-pack season for him last year. Let's see if he can step up his game in Season 2. There's Ryan Wilson, a familiar face, and driving the other Navy car. 88. And the number, his familiar number 88. Another 
military sponsor was last year. It was the Wounded Warrior Foundation. So this, these guys passing number two now. The 88 car, very strong last year at some points, and at other points it was not strong at all. The 88 looking definitely for a season where he can finally get his win, first win and first pole. Two things he has yet to do. He may have won a pole, I can't remember. But Ryan Wilson definitely looking for a chance to shine this year. So he didn't get to do so very much last year. Even though he's an under, undersung, uh, unsung hero, underdog driver, I would say, as he's now passing the two. We'll get to the two in a second. But he's definitely that driver to keep your eye on. Let's go back here. There's the number two. R.J. Bishop, another rookie. Driving the number two, B&T &B, B &B Chevrolet. That's a bank company, I believe. R.J. Bishop losing the draft now. I've heard of him in some other in our 2003 series, one of them being NURA or NES, whatever, you, whatever it's called this week. And, um... <laughs> that was just a joke. And R.J. Bishop, hopefully his previous um, experience will be able to help him out this week at Daytona and throughout season number two of the Gander Mountain National Series, NASCAR Gander Mountain National Series. Here, okay, there's some drivers on pit road. Here's number driver, the number 99, Kyle Anderson. Aaron's on board that Chevrolet. Last year, he drove the number 87 Toyota uh, to a terrible season. That's, to put it lightly, uh... Mm, uh, barely any good finishes whatsoever. Finished second to last in points. Cody Vaughn's only finished worse. Uh, definitely looking for a pick-me-up season in Season 2. He's just passing the number one, another standout from our 2003 season, yet he also is a rookie. That is the number one of Chris Washer. Chris Washer. You're gonna drive me piloting number one Phoenix Construction Chevrolet. Hopefully, oh, never mind. Wait, is that a Chevrolet? Yes, that is a Chevrolet. I thought it was a Ford for a second. But yes, you'll be piloting that Chevrolet, hoping for some win, some win, some luck, some pulls, and hopefully a championship. There's number nine, Cody Lamas, talking about bad drivers. There it is. Terrible season last year, worse than the standings. Blew up a lot, especially at Kansas, not Kansas, Kentucky, when he is about to take the lead away from Troy Kang, and blows it. Two laps to go, blows his engine, comes to pit road, finishes 38th. And that is what cost him his only win, possibly, of the season. A terrible driver last year. Looking to rebound. The number 9, Ragu Dodge. Let's see what he can do. Next driver. Coming to pit row, 33. We'll get to him a little bit later. There's the 47. Interesting story behind the 47. Daniel Boyle is the owner, of a lot, owner agent of a lot of drivers. And he got put together the 47. And he will not be using one of his three drivers he put in the rides last year. The Penguin said Amy Appleman. I can't remember the third one off the top of my head. It'll come to me a bit later. He had signed up three, ordered three of his drivers as an agent into the series, and none of them will be returning for season number two. In fact, he'll be using a new driver. That is Annie Thomas, driving the number 47 Clorox U.S. Air Force Ford. And the number 47. Her rookie debut will be at Daytona in a couple weeks. Let's see what dominance she will be able to bring to the track in season number two. There's a couple more cars on pit road. Let's skip through pit road and get back on track. There are some more cars we haven't talked about. First of all, the number 12. That is PJ Williams driving the number 12 Penske Dodge. PJ is rookie the season. Don't know much about his prior NR2003 experience. Haven't heard much of him until now. Uh, definitely his first rodeo in the in NASCAR for all I know. Possibly maybe in some other series. Definitely his first rodeo in a Gander series. But let's see what he brings to the table in season number two as the rookie. There's the number 22 of Jed Timms, Discount Tire sponsoring his Dodge. Another rookie. Uh, seen around in NURA or NES, whatever it's called. And he's been driving somewhat well, not a whole lot. I believe he may be out of that series, can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, Jed Timms, definitely a driver to watch this season. Even though he's a rookie, he does have prior experience. There's some drivers coming on. Let's go to an on-track driver. The 73 of Guilford, let me let me pronounce his name correctly. Guilford Cuck Fosters, I believe is how you pronounce that name. Correct me if I'm wrong. John Cittadino, who's the agent of this number 73 unsponsored Dodge. Uh, John Cittadino, an agent for many drivers, including himself, who's not running uh, this guy. Um, Prudence Little John's the number one to name, who's driven in some series. Uh, hopefully this 73 will end up in victory lane sometime this season. There's the 15 of Darian Taylor. Darian Taylor won our race back at Eldora, the Mud Summer Classic. Duel number one went to Darian Taylor last year in his, in his number 14 Toyota. This year we'll be driving the number 15 Toyota. Pilot Flying J moving over from the 43 to the 15 this year as the 43 isn't being funded. 
and hopefully this number 15 car will get a win, another win for his second of his career. There are some more drivers we haven't talked about. We've talked about the 62 and the 29, but here's another driver. Joshua Blackheart returned to the series. And number eight, Chevrolet with Taco Bell on board, number eight. Um, he had a very weird season last year. Wasn't remembered for much. I uh, believe finished around the 30s in the points, uh, low pack. Remembered for about two things. Leading laps at Richmond before losing it to James Qualls and James Qualls winning his first career race. And hitting the barrels at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, which allowed Don Van like to pass him and win the race. Two things he'll forever regret and be remembered by. Hopefully he can get over his regrets, come out, win his first race, win his first pole off. Never mind, he has a pole, and he'll be competing in Sprint Unlimited. Um, hopefully he'll get over all that and win some more races in Season 2. There's just Vanessa, we already talked about him. Here's another returning face for Season number 2. Alex Hawkins in the Oreo Ritz Chevrolet. Last year he drove the number 33 Wesco. This year it's Oreo Ritz on board that car. Let's see if he can win some races in, in season number two. Excuse me. There is another um, in our 2003 standout and a DAS car president. He has not ran in the Gander Series before. That is Jamie Pentor piloting the number 00 Napa Toyota. Jamie Pentor driven in some other series before. Hopefully he'll be able to use his past experience like some other drivers and win. Maybe the driver for COPD 300 coming up soon. There's Henrietta Fitzwater, we already talked about her. There's the 25 Eric Steinmetz, we already discussed him. There's another new driver, the six of Nick Pericles. Uh, there's two number six City Financials um, boards, the six and the 16 companions. Um, anyways, Pericles is driven in some other series. I believe Utica Home Track Series is one I've seen him in before. Pericles looking for his higher experience like other rookies to get him in victory lane. There's a returning face and a fan favorite by all means. That's Joshua Michaels. Bringing another unique paint scheme this season. That's SpongeBob SquarePants the movie and Adult Swim sponsoring the blue 04. Moving away from black and red this year, he'll be doing blue, white, and yellow on board the number 04 Dodge. As he comes to pit road now, looking for an increase in points as he fell out at the last second last year, looking to do better in season number two. And there's the 26 of Jordan Culp, Dr. Pepper, and Combos sponsoring the number 26 Dodge. Jordan Culp, a rookie this season. Don't know much about Jordan Culp. I recognized the name when I first saw it. I believe he's raced before in Unicorn Home Track Series, maybe in NNSCRA, but I'm not confident what series I have seen him in before. But if he does, he probably does have prior experience being he found in the series. And hopefully his prior experience will, once again, be in the victory lane. There's the other City Financial Ford. That is the 16. That is Kane Gill driving that machine. City on board the number 16. Kane Gill has driven in NES and URA before. And looking for definitely his first career win and hopefully... Some more stuff beyond that. There is the 39. That is Sean Harple. Yes, that is Sean Harple. Penske Truck Rental also on board this car is on board the 12 as well. Doing a dual sponsorship just like the City Financial Company. Although this is not teammates. This is just a split sponsorship. Anyways, the 39 car taking to the track now. Uh, I've never really heard of Sean Harville before. This is a very only really new driver I've never even heard the name of in this field before. Don't know much about Sean Harple at all if he's ever even been in an NR2003 series before. His mysteri mysteriosity might just land him in victory lane sometime this season. Uh, there was a 62 of just Vanesto. We already went over him and his really random Alfa Romeo. Top notch designs. The sponsor, Kyle Anderson. There's Jackie Tang. D.H. Griffin, the sponsor of that number 81 Dodge, Jackie Tang, returning to Season 2. Last year, drove number 77 Toyota, won this race last year. That was the drive for COB 300. He won it on the final lap, passing, I believe, Alex Hawkins and Maxwell Swords to win this event. Surely paid off in the standings, what led to the first five races, but before losing to James Qualls, and then Qualls lost it to Henrietta Fitzwater. Luckily, Qualls ain't back this season. However, one challenge Henry F. Fitzwater is. Hopefully, he can overcome that challenge and maybe go for a second straight driver to be 300 win. Let's look for a driver we haven't talked about. I believe there is one. There it is. Number 33 of Eric Enrage. Jimmy John sponsoring number 33 Chevrolet. He has driven in a lot of NR2003 series before. Has a lot of prior NR2003 experience. 
he would definitely use that experience to his advantage on the track this season. A familiar face to some, not a whole lot. He definitely is a familiar face to me involved in the NURA and NES series. That is Dwayne Schlenz piloting the number 48. Um, I believe that is the WinBigGMV.com Chevrolet. Get more vacations also on the side. Sponsoring the number 48 car. Looking for a great debut run and Gander Mount NASCAR Gander Mount National Series in season number two. Have we gone through everybody? No. The number five car right there, Zachary Robinson, a very familiar face to some of NASCAR. I believe he was once was a NASCAR president, and he may still be. Anyway, Zachary Robinson will have that number five GMAC Financial Chevrolet. Hoping to wind up in victory lane, not only at Daytona, but a lot this season, and hopefully run for a championship in the number five. 16 coming off of pit road now. Have I got every single driver? There's probably somebody watching this right now at home saying, wanting to say, hey, you forgot me. Uh, if I did forget something, put it in the comments of this video. I will surely apologize to you sincerely for leaving you out. I believe I did cover, in fact, everybody. Great. So let's figure out who our leader is. That's the 26, Dr. Pepper Combos Dodge, being driven by Jordan Culp. That's our, there he is. He's our current leader on track right now, running a 44-913. Very fast lap for the number 26 car. As just a over three, little bit over three minutes remaining in this Daytona Preseason Thunder session. Like I said earlier, don't know much about Jordan Culp, but he definitely is showing it here today on the track, beating this session. The second currently is the number 22 car. 22 cars being driven today by, I believe, um, Jed Timms. Why am I saying I believe? I know it's Jed Timms. He's going to be driving that all season, just as all these drivers are full-time drivers. However, another rule thing, and we're going to go over some rules real quick while we have some minutes. That's what we'll do. Um, first of all, this is a commenting series. Um, if you are not willing to stay active and comment, now will be the time to put that in the comments, and I will find someone to replace you. Um, if you're just looking to jump into a series and sit there and hopefully win a championship, that's not what this is about. Uh, I'll expect you to comment, be active, whether it's through Facebook or in the comments if you're not in my Facebook group. Um, you can join it if you really want, send me a friend request. Other than that, um, I do recommend you post comments so I can keep track of that way a little bit easier to know you are actively watching all of my videos. Other than that, I will host. I will probably do a Monday through Friday, post a race a day. On Saturday, I'll post a replacement sign up videos, and I'll get that. Monday through Friday is your chance to um, watch all the videos. And if you comment on one race between Monday and Friday when I do uploading schedules, uh, that's going to count. And you are clear for the next five races. Once you have commented on one race, if there is a driver who has not commented to commented on five consecutive races, they will lose their spot and they will be up for um, replacement signups. I will be posting a replacement signups video on the Saturday, and that video should be uploaded very quickly. And if you are a part of replacement signups, here are the two things: if you are being told you are losing your spot, you can comment on that video uh, and get your spot back, or um, someone else can comment, and you don't comment, and they can claim your ride by random draw. Um, I'll explain that when that come comes. Really quickly, Sprint Unlimited. Not Sprint Unlimited. It's being called a Gander Shootout. Get the fun. <laughs> um, Gander Shootout coming up. Next thing that will be uploaded on this channel for Season 2. Any pole sitter from Season 1 is eligible, whether they're in Season number 2 or not. All Season number 2 drivers will use their car that they are using right now in this session for the Gander Shootout. If, you do, if your driver is not signed up for season number two, here's how it'll work. I will randomly select a car for them that they will run in the Gander Shootout. You do not have a say. Um, they will run that car, and that is that. One last thing to note, one exception to the rule, Jacob Crago technically did win a poll at um, Montreal in season one. He is not credited with his because of his withdrawal in the Haruka Takata situation. Haruka Takata, however, will be allowed a spot in the um, Gander Shootout as well as the Gander All-Star Race a little bit later at Zenjoltis. Well, folks, um, Daytona Thunder, perfect timing as 
Daytona Thunder is preseason Thunder, that is, is complete. Annie Thomas has won our preseason Thunder session with a time of 44.743. Great job by Annie Thomas as a rookie. Ryan Wilson will get second. Jordan Colt third. Jed Tims fourth. Donovan Updike fifth. Alex Hawkins sixth. Uh, let's try pronouncing this one last time. But, I think Cock, Cock Foster is the last name. Let me try to remember the first name. We're just going to call you Cock Fosters for now, alright? So, G. Cock Galvis? I, I, I'm not even going to play with that first name right now. Anyways, 8th was Zachary Robinson. Ninth, Maddie Spaiva. 10th, PJ Williams. 11th, Sean Harple. 12th, Kyle Anderson. 13th, Eric Steinmetz. 14th, Kyle Keith. 15th, Darian Taylor. 16th, Kane Gill. 17th, Chris Washer. 18th, Jackie Tang. 19th, Jimmy Pentor. 20, RJ Bishop, 21st, um, Henrietta Fitzwater, our reigning champion, 22nd, Eric Enrage, 23rd, Joshua Blackheart, 24th, Dwayne Schlenz, 25th, Joseph Vanesto, 26th, Nick Pericles, 27th, Joshua Michaels, and 28th is Bad Luck, Cody Lamas. All right, folks, well, that's all we got for you today. Thanks for tuning in to... Drivers, drivers to your car. Uh, we'll pause that there. Thanks for tuning in to Daytona Preseason Thunder here on NBC Sports NASCAR. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Uh, Gator Shootout will be coming up your way very soon. One thing to note, um, Kane Gill, um, the way you were signed up through Jed Tims, I do not have your YouTube account. If you will comment in this video and say, I am Kane Gill, just to clarify, um, that would be great. So I'll know what your YouTube account is because it uh, doesn't seem like you have Facebook at the moment. Anyways, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Gator Shootout coming up very soon.